My name is Jacek Pudlik. I'm the associate publishing producer for World of Warships in Europe, uh, which means I'm responsible for the product in uh, our region. Uh, we were talking about the new French line, which we're introducing April 20th, the French cruisers. While we did have a single French ship before, the Dunkirk, uh, it, will, it is really exciting for us to finally be able to introduce, after more than a year of the game's existence, uh, the proper French line. It's something like the British line, which was missing and we're very happy to finally be able to do that. Yeah. It took a lot of research for us, we work with the uh, museums to, as uh, Krasimir, our historical specialist said before, uh, to research them, to make them as historically accurate as the other ships were before. So that was something we were really uh, interested in doing. Our developers are putting a lot of hard work into making our ships as historically accurate as possible. There is, of course, exceptions when we have to. Uh, so. Uh, the ships are not entirely chronological in their line. The first ship, the, uh, this one is actually a new uh, ship class that we ha never had before. It's still a cruiser, gameplay-wise, but it's uh, a sloop, as far as I recall. And it's uh, actually from the 1930s. It is uh, slightly newer than the Tier 2, which goes back to the very early 20th century and uh, these things are done for gameplay purposes to make it more interesting. If you start a new branch, you don't want that slow, cumbersome thing to start with. You want something that will be in par with other ships on the same level, and that's why we have to do such changes occasionally to change the order of ships or uh, stir it up a bit. The ships were uh, historically not built in many units. They're not like the American ships when a class was built in dozens of units just because of the production potential of the United States. The ships were mostly done just a few units uh, or not even at all. Some were just designed and then the next one was already designed and then the next one was built instead of uh, the previous one. The exception is also the tier 10, the Henry IV, uh, Henry Cato Cut. Uh, and uh, this ship was never actually fully designed. Uh, after the St. Louis, uh, there was uh, the beginning of the planning phase, but we never got the blueprints for the Henry IV. There were some drafts and ideas, but uh, the project was never laid down and it never got actually created. So uh, we are hiring specialists in St. Petersburg who are educated in shipbuilding and uh, they are educated in the building of ships in specific periods of time. So according to the rules of building ships in the 1930s and 40s, uh, that is how from the St. Louis we created our own blueprint for the Henry IV and made sure that it would apply as a natural progression of what it should have been, like what artillery it should have had, what armor it should have used, how the hull would look like, where the internal modules are placed. Everything was laid down and that is uh, part of the historical accuracy that if you want to do that occasionally you have to fill the gap, but if we do have to fill the gap, we do it with engineering, not just guesswork and trying to mimic things. There's people who are actually educated to do that. The French cruisers fill another gap in the uh, gameplay. They actually provide a new unique way of playing. They are the fastest of the cruisers. Uh, they are uh, in par with the destroyer speed and they are very lightly armored. By very lightly armored, there's like 11, 18 millimeters of side armor uh, on some tiers, especially on the lower tiers, the armor is basically not there. Uh, so it will, first of all, it makes them very easily penetrable with armor piercing ammunition. And secondly, uh, the highly explosive will actually deliver a lot of damage to them. But this disadvantage is very well countered by the very interesting gameplay that they provide in return. So thanks to them being fast and thanks to them being cruisers and having good anti-aircraft capability, they're able to actually cover destroyers of their own team. They can travel in, in the same speed to the cap circles and make the other destroyers from the enemy team have a harder time uh, contesting the capture zones. And the capture zones are very important, maybe even more important than destroying enemy ships because as the counter goes and your team gets points, that's actually how many battles finish, not by killing or destroying the other team, but by superior positioning and uh, denying the enemy team capturing of the points. So the cruisers will fit that role very well. They will be able to very well destroy enemy destroyers as well as cover their own destroyers from aircraft attack. And uh, on top of the high speed, which ranges in the 35 knot, you also have the consumable, which is for now unique to the French cruisers which you can see in destroyers, the speed boost. So the speed boost will allow them to even faster 
reach the cap circles and be in par with the even fastest destroyers, uh, which well, without the engine boost will be uh, still a little bit faster, but you'll be just behind them. And like now, where you always had the destroyers arriving in cap first, and a minute later you had the cruisers. Now they'll arrive at the same time. So hopefully this will be exciting for people. It's putting you in a position where you have to maneuver, you have to dodge enemy shells because you'll become a target for the enemy support uh, who will be trying to destroy you. You're not invisible like the destroyers. So you'll be the, probably the first you, that will be fired upon. I think that uh, it is possible. That they, first of all, a lot of archives have stayed. So uh, unlike some navies, the amount of documents we're able to recover is very big. Thanks to the cooperation of the museums, which is very good with us, we're able to not only get them, scan them, get to our development, and there is a lot of ships we can consider. Uh, there is some uh, gaps, like the Henry IV was, but I believe that over time we'll be able to uh, introduce other branches. And as we actually mentioned in the developer diaries published early uh, this year, uh, we are looking at the French battleships, not directly after the French cruisers, but maybe this year, maybe next, we're, we're working on it. S and in the future there is enough to have at least a branch of uh, each uh, class of ships. So one branch of destroyer, cruiser, battleship and possibly aircraft carrier as well, but we cannot really comment on because not many, much research has gone to other things than battleships right now. So battleships, as we said already, we're working on the others we hope that they'll also be delivered like for every major navy in the world we would love to be able to put the uh, all of them into the game because that makes for a way more engaging gameplay when you can actually face everyone <laughs>